At 3.31 p.m., JetBlue Flight 292 took off with 141 passengers on board. Conditions for the two and a half thousand mile journey to New York were good. The flight started really super normal. You know, they give you the, hey, this thing will float, you know, uh, don't, you know, put your tray table up. And it was a very straightforward uh, start to things. I guess it was maybe 15 or 20 minutes into the flight, it became the something was up. The pilot came on and said, hey, we're having a little technical difficulty. When he made that announcement, I remembered I had a video camera. So I reached up and I got out the video camera and I started filming from inside the cabin. Dave recorded events around him. Several rows ahead, close to the front, was fine art consultant Lisa Schiff. The pilot came on and said, you know, hello everyone. I don't know if you've noticed, but we haven't reached altitude. 20 minutes after takeoff, they were still cruising above California at 14,000 feet. He said, you know, we're getting an, an unusual signal about our landing gear. That was a big red flag for me. People were already stressed. And some people were dealing with it quietly, and other people, there were upsets throughout the cabin. At 4.20 p.m., they flew past the control tower at Long Beach Airport, hoping to get visual confirmation of the problem. The tower confirmed that the front wheels of the plane were twisted 90 degrees. Like, you need the landing gear to not crash the plane. Like, that's an important part of the plane. So the fact that that was messed up was scary. I'm in danger. Things were about to get even more surreal for the passengers. The pilot and air traffic control had been informed the TV news crews had picked up on the story. Here's live uh, TV feed from uh, Channel 4 in Long Beach. Yes, I know I'm on candid camera. They made their presence known. Flight 292's plight was being broadcast live across the nation. And incredibly, Dave and the other passengers could watch on board. It's absolutely surreal to be watching the story of the plane journey. Like it was on national television. It was, and then then I click and it's on it's on every station. It's like this is what they're covering. Suddenly, the pilot made an announcement. I do, uh, I've been told uh, by both the company as well as uh, our in-flight crew that uh, apparently we've uh, made a deal, uh, so sorry about that. Uh, I apologize for the apprehension that this is a cause you. They had like every military pilot giving their assessment of what our chances of survival was. I freaked out. Your heart is racing and the adrenaline is, is going through as if someone is chasing you and trying to kill you. The Airbus A320 was loaded with 31,600 pounds of jet fuel, which could ignite if the landing went wrong. At this point, what I'm doing is burning off uh, additional fuel. Uh, we took off with a full load of fuel uh, to go out to uh, New York. We're currently drilling holes in the sky around the uh, south part of Los Angeles, primarily to burn the fuel uh, load down to a, a more suitable level. We then flew out over the ocean for like 45 minutes. And that silence was really freaky. You start to think about what is going on. Picture of the people holding hands, I mean, it's a moving moment. I mean, to see people that intensely connected in a high pressure situation. Flight 292 had been circling for nearly three hours. They hadn't found a way to fix the jammed wheels, but had burnt off enough fuel to try and land at Los Angeles International Airport. 
Air traffic control contacted the pilot. What do you think your uh, ETA is hey. now? We're down to uh, Bingo Field now at this time, Scott. I see 10,000 showing up here. Uh, I think it's uh, time uh, for execution. Do you concur? Concur. The plane was about to come in for a white-knuckle emergency landing, but the passengers were the last to know. They turned the televisions off, and that was spooky. What happened? What changed? What are you not telling us? Hey, Barb, it's me. I'm watching the plane on the TV. We're having landing gear problems. We're going to crash land or emergency land crash is a bad word in LAX. And uh, they're telling us everything's going to be fine, and it is, but just uh, thought I'd leave you a message just in case. Just I love you. And, you know, everything is going to be groovy. Give Ozzy a big hug for me. And uh, we'll have a good laugh when I show you this video. I wanted her to know it was okay. That yes, we had a fight, but you know, it's just a fight. We've been together for a long time. These things happen. The pilot contacted air traffic control for the final time. So uh, let's make sure that uh, we've got all of the uh, preparations ready uh, for the uh, uh, arrival into uh, LAX. Uh, I'm sure you'll uh, be a hero here. Well, that's not the point. Uh, I just uh, want to make sure that everyone gets off the airplane, okay? The pilot chose to land at LAX, where the long runway gave him the best chance of success. Two kinds of dangers there. One, you can have a failure of the main landing. That is, it could collapse backwards, the nose of the aircraft could hit the runway. A second is that the heat generated from that scraping on the ground could throw off hot pieces of metal that if it punctures a fuel tank could lead to a fire or an explosion. I really wanted my mom, you know, just, I wanted to say goodbye to my parents. As we come in, when we first hit, we hit, felt like we hit pretty hard. The pilot needed to keep the twisted nose gear off the ground for as long as possible. started to smell burning rubber. Intense, intense, thick smell of burning rubber. I felt heat coming up. I was scared. There might be an explosion. We're slowing down. And then all of a sudden, we it was it got quiet for an instant. the door and he put his hand up like this. I remember hugging him on the way out. He was so good. I mean, he was a great landing. Oh, wait, that's me. Oh my God, that's me. I've never seen this before. Wow, we are so lucky. Forty-seven people on board were unhurt, thanks in large part to the skill of the pilot.